President Donald Trump talked about his phone call with Governor Mike DeWine today during a briefing with the White House Task Force on the coronavirus. The president talked about the sterilization of masks and said that's a process that can happen with the right equipment. Here's what the president had to say about that phone call with DeWine. Well, I spoke with the great uh, governor of Ohio, who's doing a fantastic job, by the way, and he said there's a company in Ohio that can do 10,000 masks, but they want to do 80,000 masks, but they need approval from the FDA, and I'd like to get them that approval. Assuming it's good, I'd like to get them the approval immediately. The president said he spoke to the head of the FDA, who he said is working on the matter. Battelle CEO said this is technology they've been working on for a couple years, and it started with working on how to clean N95 respirators. Over the last month, they've been working to build a system to clean a high capacity, but how exactly does all this work? NBC4's Whitney Harding joining us live with exactly uh, all those details. Whitney? Mark, it actually starts with a concentrated hydrogen peroxide vapor. I mean, that term is probably something familiar to many of you out there in some form or fashion. Many of us use hydrogen peroxide to clean aspects of our homes. So that would make sense, and that is kind of where all of this mask cleaning technology begins. Now, Battelle has a walkthrough process video online that you can see step by step exactly how they do this. Hospitals collect the masks. They get wrapped up in a bag. Before they're shipped, that bag goes into a second bag. And it's wiped down with disinfectant. It's taken to Battelle experts who load them into containers with liners and sensors inside where the masks are put under pressure with hydrogen peroxide for a couple hours. They then cool off for five or six more hours to make sure that hydrogen peroxide clears out and is safe. Then they are shipped back to the same hospital with the hope that this is the beginning with this technology. This particular approval we requested for the FDA is actually just for the N95 mask. We uh, plan to go back with other items as we finish the R&D and prove that we can safely decontaminate those things as well, including pieces of respirators, uh, ventilators, uh, reusable parts that are typically thrown away that we expect to come into shortage. Now, supply shortage is many concerns across the country with regards to this and other things. And Battelle is worried about that with regards to the supply chain, with the, the things that they use to make these machines. They're worried that they're going to run low on that. But in typical Battelle fashion, they are already thinking ahead. They're thinking of alternative parts and pieces they can use to modify and make more machines down the line. Of course, that would require further FDA approval. Live and local for you at the State House, Whitney Harding, NBC4. All right, Whitney, thank you.